whole gun safe right here. Oh, look at that. We got it. We just paid $770 for this storage unit because I have a gambling addiction when it comes to safes, especially gun safes. And there's one there right in the corner. I'm so excited. Let's start digging and see what's in there. Step one, we want to get this table clear. So let's see if there's anything under all these clothes. Just weird that there's a pile of clothes like that just sitting on top of a table. You know what I mean? Yeah, they're usually in like a bag or exactly. something. A bag, you know, like 30 <laughs> suitcases. suitcases sitting in here. Well, I was know? saying like a trash bag. I didn't yeah. even see the suitcases. Yeah, oh, look, 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 look. Hey, oh, a knife too. An open knife. That's a good start. And a little watch. We're just getting under these clothes. Let's just keep throwing them. Hey, look, a little Jordan. What size is that? Size seven. Nice. There's, ah, there's the other one. Nice. nice little pair of Jordans too. Let's just keep throwing these clothes off because we want the table. We want the table. A box. What is that? Uh, what is this? Look, look. Oh, look. Well, well, what is it? I don't know what it was originally. Like a little jewelry box? That's what it looks like it was at first. Huh. Let's see. Nothing. This says bookend. Fragile glass. Is it true? Oh, it's taped shut. Where's that knife we just found? There it is. Oh, it's got something wrapped up, that's for sure. Whoa. That looks cool. <laughs> a pelican. A little pelican. I think. <laughs> I think so, too. I mean, I think you're right. And then there's a lighter in here. It says N and D on it. There's that. Let's keep throwing clothes over here. There's got to be a table, at least, if nothing else. And... Whoa. Ooh, jewelry! Yay! Looks like costume jewelry though, but Ooh, look. A buffalo nickel. A little buffalo nickel. This, that looks silver. I can't lie, doesn't it? Does. Let's see. What's this say on the bottom? This says, yeah, 925 on it. This is sterling. Nice. That's a good little what size piece. I don't know. What is this exactly? Um, Not sure. Yeah, I don't know. Clue. But it's silver, so we'll take that. What about this gold thing here? Any gold in this? Nah, usually the first tell time you can see is um the paint peeling off. You know, it's not real gold, obviously, right off the bat, but it's cool. A little bit of jewelry. Is this silver right here? That says, what does that even say? PTO Valor? Hmm. I don't know what that says, but it does have a little marking inside. 925 silver. Nice. So we got some silver right off the bat. Anything else? No, that looks like all that's on the table, but that is one heck of a good start. So we're clearing all this stuff off. We come across this pair of purple like fabric boots and look, looks like there's some Dr. Martens. So they look like they could be definitely old and vintage. And if you could feel the fabric, you'd feel it. It's really weird feeling. It's like velvet. You know what, but they're kind of cool. So hopefully they got some value. If you know, let us know in the comments. Let's bring one of these things up. Let's go silver for, uh, that doesn't feel too, eh, sounds like there's something in there. Jewelry's light, you know? Yeah. Let's see. Well, how's this open up? Dang it. That looks like a lot of emptiness, unfortunately. That's not a good sign. But this one, oh, that's heavy. Well, first, what is that? It's an old Samsonite, huh? Samsonite. Vintage Samsonite briefcase. Does it go this way right here? Let's uh, see. Oh, open? I don't know. <laughs> How do I open it? Oh, there, oh, there it is. you go. It unclips right there. Dang it, nothing. Oh, this nothing. is old. Look at the key. Whoa. That itself, though, even though it doesn't have nothing in it, I feel like this has definitely got some value to it. Yeah. Open up. You. There it goes. Side. Oh, well. Old we got hangers. some old Samsonite <laughs> hangers to go with the old Samsonite suitcase. That's pretty Whoa. cool. Look at the tag there. Does it say anything? Uh, Just... Samsonite luggage, that's style it. number. Yeah, that's okay. it. Cool. I bet you that's worth a little something for sure. Check out these dolphins. It looks like an old logo, too, doesn't it? That does not look like what their current logo looks like. Is that even the Miami Dolphins logo? I mean, it's the same colors and everything, so maybe it's an older version. But we got two of these, I'm gonna call them vintage Miami Dolphins bar stools. It's funny enough, that's the reason we looked at this unit anyway, because Brandon's a fan of them. I was joking, look at these, and I happened to look and I saw this, which they didn't even show or mention. I was like, okay, that's gonna go cheap. Look at these little plates too. 1986, it's like a blue plate with some little kids and a dog pulling it. This one, it's a whole set of three of these little guys. 1980 and 1985. Those are pretty cool. Set them right here. Is there anything in this? What is this anyway? I don't even know, you know? No clue. It looks like an old lunchbox or something. But unfortunately, it's an empty old lunchbox. Everything's empty because all the valuables are right here. That's why, obviously. What is this thingy? I'm not too sure on that. And then this, maybe a lamp? Does this go together? Maybe, guys, help me, please? Not only is there a gun safe, now look under the table. You see this really old looking trunk down there too? I'm also really interested to see what's in there. Let's see, let's pick a suitcase, I guess. Blue, okay, that's not empty. Let's see what's in the suitcase. Anything in that pocket? Do I just reach my hand in there? 
Now that we're in California, I'm a little more weary. It is worth um, putting my hand in there. Only for a week, guys. I would never come back here to stay again. But it's fun to visit. Let's see what's inside. Money. Not clothes. Not clothes. Uh, well, I'm seeing a lot of clothes. Is it all clothes, though? Clothes in there. Clothes, clothes. And yeah, unfortunately, it's all clothes. Let's go into another suitcase. This one here. Well, it doesn't sound like clothes. That's for sure. Maybe that's all the silver bars clanking together. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. Let's open up the main compartment and see. This is where all the silver bars are, obviously. What does it say? Teacups. Well, they're not lying. Let's look at the brand on that. SMC, what does that even say? It's made in Germany. But unfortunately, as you can see, some of them, like this guy here, are smashed. But most of them look like it's a, they're complete. So let's hope these little cups, you know, are in good shape and have a little bit of value. These individual pieces seem to be going for about 10 to $25 a piece. And we have a full box of probably 30 to 50. So I'd say conservatively about a hundred bucks at least. There's that, this is just a rug. What is this? Miss Dyer Heor. Ooh, look at that. Look at these spoons, they look golden. That's fancy. Is that what the plates are actually? There's nothing written on the bottom. So I don't know. If anyone recognizes that brand, let me know if what we have in the box is actually what's supposed to be in the box because right now I have no idea. Something tells me, I don't know what it is, but I think this one's empty, you know? I didn't open it yet, but something about it on the outsides let me think that it's empty. I'm just gonna go out on a limb and say it's empty. What do you think, garbage bag or this? Garbage this? bag. All right, let's see what's in here. Oh, I think I see a wallet. Is that a wallet? It is like a little coin purse with nothing in it though. Let's see, let's dump some of this stuff out, Ooh, look. There's some envelopes with all the money, of course. Aw, anything here look like it's got anything in it? How about these green ones? No, these look like empty envelopes. Let's pour some of this out though. I thought it was gonna be all closed, but it's not, as you can see. There's definitely some other stuff inside, like this, just a book bag, nothing in it. Let's turn it up there. Whoa, 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 whoa. Calm down. We got a little bit of a creamer here, and let's see. Clothes, clothes, some bags, sharpies, markers, highlighters, weird, random stuff like this. Oh, something in here. No, that's a knot. Never mind. So just a lot. Is this Coach? No, never mind. But it look like the logo. What is that? Nope, just part of the bag. Unfortunately, this looks like it's going to be all clothes. Let's go into this bag now. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. No more clothes, 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 no more clothes. Please, 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 please. Oh, no. Whoa, what's up there? There's some stuff up here It's not closed. Open up, please, please open. Let's see, little coin purse like this, nothing. This is the kind of junky like unit where we found that stack of um, silver coins, remember? Last yeah. time we were in California. And so far it looks like pretty junky, but we but, still have hope. Of course, there's always hope. We literally <laughs> found a unit full of nothing with junk before in LA and then there's just a thing full of silver coins like this much. So it's always possible. Yeah. That's empty. Let's see this one right here. Oh, uh, where, in here? No. In here, no. What about up here, please? No, okay, main compartment, main compartment. Please, 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 please. Uh, no, oh, these are wires. A little different, what is this for? Uh, some type of audio wire maybe, or cable wire, I think. It's a cable wire, old computer wire, HP printer wires. Just a bunch of wires. This one, nothing. In this suitcase, also nothing. I'm eyeballing this. I'm seeing that it's locked. And I, uh, okay, relax, relax. I gotta relax myself. I have a gun safe problem. Take a deep breath. <sighs> I just spread, <laughs> breathe in whatever's coming out of this stuff. Okay, it's empty. What about up here? Come on, come on, come on. Mm, no, nothing. Main compartment, main compartment. Come on. No clothes. If there's clothes in this one, then I'm just suing the facility. Like, I'm giving it up. Okay, we're, we're going to court. We're going to court. Open up. Let's see. Close, 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 and more clothes. This metal thing on top here, ah, I don't know what this is. The door was open in the picture, so I figured there was going to be nothing. Yeah. What I is it? I don't know. Maybe it looks like a key holder or a toolbox or something like that. But either which way, somebody will buy it because it's metal, so it's still sellable. This, uh, all clothes. I'm not going through it. Ugh. Ugh. There's a thing, difference between clothes and clothes that smell like that. That's that's nasty. 
this one close Ugh. get on out of here two more bags of you guessed it clothes but look at this okay at least i got a pickaxe now so if anyone messes with me this is the best line of defense you can get in california home defense number one the one thing that we could see in the pictures when the unit was posted that was guaranteed money is the nice fast track dolly and obviously this massive freaking generator is on it turn it around See a model number on this guy anywhere? I see Briggs and Stratton. Briggs and Stratton. Uh, what about on the side? What does it say on the side? 1450 something. 500 or 5,000 watts, 6250 starting watts. So there is the generator. Generators are always super easy to sell. So this was the saving grace if everything else fell through. But obviously that doesn't matter because this is loaded with guns and money. We all know that. But, you know, I'm still happy to have this. This, like, little laundry hamper thing, it's all full of clothes. We don't need to deal with that. Guys, if you haven't left the video, thumbs up. What are you doing? I mean, look. Look at it just looking at me, Jaybird. It's just looking back at me, and it's saying to leave it a thumbs up. So you should do that right now. <laughs> what in the California contraption is this? Like, <laughs> this is the most California contraption I've ever seen right here. I, is this a heater or a light that's somehow rigged Bruh. to run propane? This looks like something you unlock in like Fallout 4 later on in the game. I um, I don't know what to say about that. Mr. Heat. I guess that's a California style heater. I got my bolt cutters right here so I can break into people's stuff. I guess that's legal here now. Are we going to go pick a unit? I mean, why? As well, long as we still under $1,000, we're good. You know, that's how the law works here. This is... I think a bush trimmer? What do you think? Weed whacker. Weed whacker? I don't know. Bush trimmer. One of those two things. Think of gasoline to go with it. Most valuable thing besides the generator. How much is gas here? I think it's like six bucks a gallon or close to it. Something so like that, that's know. good. This is why we're visiting and not staying here. Let's see what's in the cooler. I'm absolutely terrified to open this cooler right now. You ready? Yeah. What's in there? Not food. Okay, what is this? Um, what? That and this. Ooh, look. Ooh, the saving grace right Ooh, here. What is that? Silver. What in the heck? Whoa, that's cool. That's actually really cool. What is it? I don't know. It looks like it's inside glass, but that looks like cork almost. Okay, so we're definitely like keep cork this picture. here. This is my store tours moment where I'm like, oh, we got to get this checked out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we have to take this yeah. to somebody who knows what it is. There's a bunch of randomness in here in a bottle. What are these right here? Curlers? Curlers? Okay, at least it wasn't dirty food in there. That was my fear. I'll take this thing over dirty food. In the front here, we got us a, what is that? I don't know, I just heard something weird. A little pink purse that's empty. This blue toe with a long extension cord in it. There's that. We got some more random shoes. This, um, is that a laptop case? Let's put it back on the table and see. Open up, no, no, get out, get out. This is, it is a laptop case, but unfortunately no laptop inside. Uh, anything else? No, just hmm. random. What? No, I said, what is that blue thing? It's just like one of those hampers. Oh. There's that. So, just got that there. This right here, please. No, nah, it doesn't sound too promising, but money's light. Money is light. <coughs> Empty box. Dang it. Last little bit in the front. What is this? Oh, these are those. I've heard the weird ball? things in the comments. I don't know if it's true about these, so we're gonna leave them <laughs> right inside of their bag because I'm not touching it. This is what Whoa. in the heck? Whoa! Uh, That's an instrument. What in the world is? It's a little broken. Ugh, there's a black <laughs> widow on it. There's a black <laughs> widow on it. Oh! Uh, I saw it right on the front. I picked it up and I just saw the freaking spider looking right at me. The daddy long legs are one thing. Don't play with black widows. They're really poisonous, but. <laughs> Very nice wooden instrument that <laughs> we're gonna have to set somebody up here. We're gonna wait for somebody to get him today. Look at that, go check it out. Then uh, then take the black widow bite. Yes. Where's the black widow? I am ready to do war. This is the only way I feel comfortable against the black widows with a pickaxe. Because he's got that magic one bite of death and I don't feel like playing with that. So I'm gonna get him and I'm gonna pick him. So we just moved the wooden thing off and I can see the black widow is in this tote now with that orange extension cord and he just crawled under it. So there is I think it's like called a xylophone, if I remember correctly from elementary school. It's a wooden one. Usually they're not wooden, so that could be something valuable. It could be like a handmade little thing or something like that. So fingers crossed. Then in here we got empty bag, empty bag, empty bags. I think it's safe to say a tote. 
of 50 bags. Now, I guess it's time to, yeah, that's a coach actually, see that? <laughs> that's actually a coach, I was looking down at it, that's actually a coach. But I was about to say, now I want to get in, there's the heat stamp and everything. That's not bad. But I was going to say, now, let's pull up the trunk and see what's in there. Then there's only one thing left to get into. Let's go into this now. Ugh, because it's an old, old trunk. Old trunk. Ugh. It's either really heavy or... Okay, I heard something move in there. Let's see what it is. This is where the Black Widow spawn. No! Oh. Giant nest in there. That let's middle see. part just fell down for you. That was the ghost. That was the ghost <laughs> assistant. You ready? Yeah. Let's see. Who would have guessed? <laughs> Not more clothes. No, no, there's nothing else hidden inside. Does this mean that's where their super clothes are? Or super clothes. is that where their gun is? Cause they need some type of defense, right? I hope, maybe, I don't know, let's see. So I just talked to the government here in California about this Black Widow's attempted assault. And unfortunately they want to lock me up for being assaulted and they rewarded, <laughs> they rewarded the Black Widow. There's only one thing left in the unit now. This big old gun safe right here. You ready? Oh. Well, let's see. We have a crowbar, but I personally feel as if a pickaxe is far more effective. Like if we can hit the lock right there, you think it'll just open right away? Might. Let's chest this thing, ready? Come on. It's going right through and it's piercing it. You gotta hit that lock right there. Ready? Oh, look at that. We got it, we got it. We got it. Oh, come on. Are you just, oh, look, 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 look. We got a tag. That's about all we have. You know what? That is what we call a big L. We got something really interesting here. Check this out. This box, this says Robert's Army Awards posters, things like that. We find this kind of military stuff. We want to show it on video and hopefully you guys out there are watching know somebody, know somewhere to share it to, know something, because we genuinely want to get this kind of stuff back to somebody. So that's why we're going to this box and show you some crazy military stuff, maybe weapons, maybe awards, we have no idea. And then hopefully you guys can help us out and get us in contact with the people we need. Yeah, look at this already. Cool. Let's see. We got, is this a chest set first? That's just a chest set. Let's see, is it even what it says is in here? A couple of tapes. <laughs> There's an empty wallet. Well, what is that? Here's the first little piece of military. It's an emblem right there. Then let's see, these look like they could definitely be awards and they're not coming out yet, so we'll wait. Let's get these cassettes out of the box. There we go, look at that. That is a, like a rifle award. So we're already starting to see military. Let's cut open one of these. I can already tell you what these are, look. These are Military, if this bubble wrap will stop fighting me and just come off nicely. Check this, it's like an ROTC camp adventure. So military pictures. We really are looking to, hopefully somebody recognizes these. If you do guys, let us know in the comments. Share the video out. Let's get as many eyes on it as we can and see if we can do this. Check this out. Hawk spaceship. What is it, a model kit? It's not coming out though, is it? Why is it fighting me? <laughs> what the heck? Okay. Do I need to take it out the other yeah, side? Yeah, we might need to cut this whole box in a second, but uh, did it just slide out? Yeah, there it goes, hold on. There it is, what is that? A Hawk spaceship? Oh, that's pretty sick. But let's keep going to see if we got more military awards or what. This, another picture. I wanna see if we can have awards that have like specific names on them. That's what we're looking for. Here we go. This is the President of the United States of America from the US Army. Let's cut this guy open right here and see. Check this out. This, look at that. So from the president of the United States, but again, it doesn't have a specific name on it. Here it is. This is the name we're looking for, guys. See if you can find that, share it out. If you're in any military groups, no military families, no military, you know, anything. Any way we could possibly increase the likelihood of finding the guy, that's what we want. This is another one, another certificate. We're just gonna leave it in there. And down here, well, what are all these? No, oh, there's cards right here too. Oh, are they? In the, in the side. Yeah, look at this. Are they Star Wars? You might have some Star Wars cards in here. From that's, 1979 Star Trek. We just that's, sold some of those. <laughs> yeah, look at that. That's mixed, look. There's Star Wars and Star Trek. Hmm. So I guess just all those kind of shows. That's cool. There's that. But look right here, you see how many we got? There's a huge bunch of them right there on the side. 
Then this right here looks like it's all military posters, Star Trek posters too. Look, oops, little books and stuff. That is gonna be money right there. It looks old and vintage. Let's see, anything else? Look at all these posters. Open one poster. One of the bigger ones? Yeah. All right, let's take this guy out, see what it is. I don't know if they're movie posters or what they are. Oh, look at that. Nice. Check that out. That's cool. That is super cool. Is there a cool. date on that, maybe at the bottom? Let's the see, 1966. Right cool. That's really cool, <laughs> actually. That is sick. And there's a ton of these down here. I mean, you're talking, look at the size of this stack. Holy Whoa, crap. Whoa, can we open like a colored one? Let's take this one out. Guys, that's over a thousand dollars right there. That's oh. literally over thousands of dollars. I think so too, just in movie posters. These are the Stranger Things, isn't it? Yeah, no. No. The Last Starfighter. I look like the same font from the Stranger Things. Oh yeah, it does. Yeah. You see it? Yep. Let's see, I'm trying not to bend it. Check this guy out. Don't rip, don't rip, please. Oh. I don't want to bend it. No there we here, go. Yeah. The last, what does it say? The Last Starfighter. What? Their date at the bottom of that one, 1983. 80s, that's cool. I mean, what do you think total? There's probably at least 50 to 100, I'd say, posters in there. And I mean, if they're all vintage and old movie posters like that, this. That's crazy. That is so. Yeah, I thought they were money. like magazines, but so they're just I. folded posters. They're all folded movie posters from who knows how thing? old. That is absolutely insane to be honest with you. That is so much money. We just finished going through all these posters and counting them. They're all vintage movie posters and there's 97 of them. And on average, they're selling for $200. Do the math. <laughs> Some are around 150, but most of them we looked up are around the five to $800 range. So 200 being very conservative on it. Like, check this out. For example, two, of this Star Wars The Empire Strikes Back vintage movie posters. It's the same one right there. Yep. That's just insane. Guys, right now, go to the comments. What do you think will be the total value of all these posters once they're sold? I want to hear it down below.